friends welcome back to all or none law okay so welcome back uh, guys today i'm going to talk about uh, what do you call uh, prognostic factors of uh, schizophrenia uh, schizophrenia so i'm going to talk about uh, prognostic factor good prognostic factor and the poor prognostic factor uh, these are really very important for usmd examination okay guys so let me quickly start this before starting this schizophrenia i would like to tell you in schizophrenia we have positive symptoms and then we have negative symptoms right for a quick revision i will tell you positive symptoms the positive symptoms are delusion okay right then we have hallucinations yes then we have behavior that is a bizarre behavior okay bizarre behavior uh, then we have thought disorder, right? Thought disorder. Then we have what you call poor attention, right? These are called as a positive symptoms, poor attention. Whereas in a negative symptoms, we have flat effect. <coughs> Sorry, flat effect. Then we have no speech, that is known as allergia, allergia, or whatever. Then we have abolition, apathy, okay, then anhedonia, anhedonia, okay guys, so these are the positive and the negative symptoms. So let me start and tell you about the prognostic pack of factors, there is a good prognostic factors for schizophrenia, uh, there is a schizophrenia, I would like to tell you here, S C H I. Z O P H R E N I A. So good prognostic factors in the bad. I'm gonna talk about the good prognostic factors like good premorbid functioning. Good premorbid functioning. Okay. Then we have if if the schizophrenia is of late onset, then it's very uh, good prognostic. Okay. Uh, if he's married or she is married, very good factor. Okay, then uh, if there's any, uh, if you find out the, any, any obvious uh, precipitating factor, then it is definitely a good prognostic factor. Uh, then a family history of mood disorder. Okay, and if there is any positive symptoms like we discussed before, like delusions, hallucinations, bizarre behavior, thought disorder, poor attention, then it is going to be a good prognostic factor. And we have good support system. Good support system. Okay, guys, these are about the good prognostic factors right then we have poor prognostic factors poor prognostic factors for poor prognostic factors for schizophrenia are what you call uh, poor premorbid functioning right if it's uh, early onset like in early childhood early onset then we have if there's no precipitative factors if you are not able to find any cause for it then it makes us a poor prognostic factor then single or divorced or widowed okay and if there is any family history of uh, schizophrenia where there is a good prognostic factor is a family history of mood dis disorder is a good prognostic factor whereas family history of schizophrenia is going to be a poor prognostic factor remember then he, if he has negative symptoms negative symptoms like flat effect allergia or allergia then apathy and hedonia right then we have poor support system okay guys so these are about the what you call uh, uh, prognostic factors for schizophrenia very important for USMLE step examination step one to step two CK and a step three thank you so much for watching this video take care